qualified institution bias qib but what qualification do they have let's find out in this video public financial institution commercial banks mutual funds and foreign portfolio investors can apply for ipo in qib category sebi registration is required to apply for this qib category and 50% of the ipo offer size is reserved for qib category as per sebi qib are the institutional investors who have the necessary expertise and financial strength to carefully evaluate and invest in our capital market sebi defines the following as qualified institutional buyers any mutual fund venture capital fund alternate investment fund and foreign venture capital investor registered with sebi foreign institutional investor registered with sebi public financial institution scheduled commercial bank multilateral and bilateral development financial institution state industrial development corporation and insurance company registered with irda provident fund with minimum corpus of 25 crore pension fund with minimum corpus of 25 crore national investment fund insurance fund set up and managed by army navy or air force of the union of india insurance funds set up and managed by the department of post india qualified institutional placement or qip is the process where the listed company raise money in the financial market for qibs that is qualified institutional buyers also these merchant bankers make allotments according to the compliance requirements and regulation set up by sebi which is mentioned in chapter 8 of sebi icdr regulations 2009 let's talk about some of the advantages qib buyers have in ipo qip or qualified institutional placement process takes less time as there is no document approval required by sebi This is a cost effective process as there is no requirement to employ a team of bankers auditors or advocates for approvals QIBs can buy large stake in a company where they have the advantage to exit and sell the stocks at any point of time post listing one of the disadvantages through the QIP process the qualified institutional buyers can take a high stake in a company as a result this dilutes the stake of the existing shareholders this further dilution of shares can actually be a risk to the management and the control of the company and which may eventually lead to the reduction in the rights of the shareholders 